Elvis and June went to Gus Stevens restaurant and I'm gonna show you where it was. It is unfortunately no longer here. I'm at the corner of 90 and Veterans Avenue and the restaurant would have been over here in this area and it would have gone that way. I believe that that sign where it would have been is where this curve is at. Back then it was just a two lane road going that way and which is a two lane down there, but you can see this got these curves on both sides. But I believe that sign that you know, I'll show you the photo again would have been about over there where that post is at, somewhere out in there. But this is where they stopped and had coats. And then they went that way and went down to uh, in front of the White House Hotel and then walked out on the pier. So we're gonna go down there and I'll show you in this segment or these segments, we're gonna flip from night to day and day to night so you can kind of get a feel for what it was really like. The Sun and Sands Hotel Elvis was staying in was right down there on this side. So there's another little tidbit about Gus Stevens and that is Jane Mansfield was actually playing here in the Buccaneer Lounge the night of her death. She was playing there, you see June 23rd through July the 4th and that's her with Gus. After her show at Gus Stevens on June the 29th, 1967, one of his drivers took her, her boyfriend, attorney, and her three children were in this car as well. The three adults that were in the front all died at the scene. They rear-ended a truck that had slowed for a mosquito truck, so the mosquito fog had covered the truck going slow. All three adults died at the scene. The three children lived. I never realized until I checked into this story that the three children were in the car. I always envisioned it being her driving and having a wreck. This was about 10 years after Elvis was in Biloxi with June.